Time now for the evening rush. Authorities say at least five people were arrested today in a raid at an Albuquerque motel, and they expect many more arrests to come. DEA agents say they are investigating drug and human trafficking at the Best Choice Inn near Central and Charleston. They say several overdose deaths have been linked to this location. DEA says several people have already been indicted on drug trafficking charges. The man accused of shooting a UNM baseball player will soon face charges again in another shooting two years before. Ricky shot at me. Right, right there. Yeah. Upper abdomen. Better. Just below the heart. In September of 2017, police say the victim and his friends had been out drinking at some bars along Central. They say Darian Bashir shot him. The victim survived. Even though the victim identified Bashir, the charges were dropped. The DA says they are refiling those charges. Definitely going to see some weather changes on the way. Fewer storms across the state for tomorrow as drier air moves in. Mostly sunny and hot for most areas. The southeast will eclipse 100 degrees and then fire weather will become a bigger concern later in the week. A GoFundMe is raising money for the man who admits he vandalized the Rainbow Crosswalk on Central. Two weeks ago, police say Anthony Morgan used his motorcycle to deface the crosswalk. Someone created a GoFundMe asking for $15,000 to, quote, help Anthony Morgan fight for our American rights. The GoFundMe says the money will go towards Morgan's attorney's fees. The parents of the teen accused of firing a gun inside Rio Rancho High School are facing charges. Dell and Tamara Owen face a charge of contributing to the delinquency of a minor. Their son, Josh Owen, is accused of pointing a gun at three people at Cleveland High School, then firing a shot in the air. The criminal complaint says the parents have the responsibility to secure the gun. You could soon see changes to Alameda. The state and city want to make improvements, like adjusting the signal timing for traffic stops from Louisiana to Edith. Also adding an extra lane in both directions from Louisiana to I-25, also from San Mateo to Edith. A teen who planted a bomb under his ex-girlfriend's bed will be sentenced after pleading guilty today to related charges. Federal officials say 18-year-old Ethan Guillen placed a homemade explosive under his ex's bed at the West Park Apartments. This is on Eagle Ranch Road near Paseo. Back in 2017, that explosive never went off. He's facing a max of 30 years. If you go out for a bike ride or a run this evening, you may notice water levels along the Rio Grande are making it difficult. You can see the running trail under Central Avenue near the biopark is flooded right now. The river is at seven feet. That's twice as high as it usually is. Flows are also twice as fast. A dumpster at Tower Pond Park at Tower and 86th is now cleaned up, but neighbors say this keeps happening. You can see cardboard boxes, trash, even a bed spilling over. We reached out to the city's parks department to see if this problem is on their radar. Right now, people in eastern New Mexico cleaning up after flooding in the area. Officials say yesterday's rainfall brought up to six inches in places. Drivers are getting stuck in water and mud. Some in need of rescue. Dozens of rock and dirt roads leading to homes are washed out. Now, flooding like that will become less and less of a concern, less and less moisture on the way. Our Metro Threat Index for Wednesday will be just a two. Breezy at times, but warm temperatures. One of the senior game's wisest competitors is celebrating another record. Yesterday, 103-year-old Julia Hurricane Hawkins set a new senior game's record for the 50-meter dash in the women's 100-plus division. Two years ago, she became a world record holder for her age group in the 100 meters, finishing in under 40 seconds. Today, she did not break her record, but she won her division. Also competing, singer and TV personality Pat Boone. Boone was an icon in the pop music world during the 50s and 60s and then went on to his own variety show for three years. Today, he took part in the basketball competition at Rudy Davalos Basketball Center. Boone's team, the Virginia Creepers, won both of their games today and play again tomorrow. A 95-year-old woman is on day three of her hunger strike to raise awareness of starving children. Sally Alice Thompson says U.S. sanctions on countries like Cuba and Iran are causing children there to go hungry. She's asking other Americans to help by calling for an end to those sanctions. The first stage of construction on a new charter school in the South Valley could be done in the fall. Solari Collegiate Charter School will focus on middle school students. The school will begin teaching fifth and sixth grade students and will later expand through eighth grade. The school will open July 31st at a temporary location. You can be recognized for participating in the Trash Tag Challenge. You take a before photo showing litter strewn about, then you take an after photo of the cleaned up area. New Mexico True wants you to post the photos to Instagram using the hashtags Trash Tag 
toss no moss, and keep New Mexico true. They will select a winner every month. If your teen is needing something to do this summer, every Friday night, the city is holding Teen Night. It's meant to provide teens a place to meet up in a safe, fun atmosphere and enjoy themselves for free. The kickoff is a tropical pool party at the Sunport Pool this Friday from 6 to 9 p.m.